This video is brought to you by my friends over at Guitar Pro. Check out the link in the description and get 20% off Guitar Pro 8 until July 5th. Stick around to the end of the video and I'm going to show you how you can use Guitar Pro to learn this fantastic solo. Okay, so here's that transcription presented in Guitar Pro, and this is what you'll be able to download at the link to my Patreon in the description. Now, a couple of things to point out just to help you get started with using this software as a practice tool. If you're a fan of notation, we can go up into the top panel here, up on the left, and we can press this button to bring up our side inspector. Now over here under notation, I have just tab selected, but if you press notation, I actually write the transcriptions with full notation. Um, and then I remove it just so it takes up a little bit less space uh, when I'm looking at the video on uh, YouTube. But you can absolutely have the notation there. So I'm just turning that notation off. Now you may have noticed I did something else while I was doing that, and that was coming down to the bottom panel. I can select between my two tracks, BB King's track and Gary Moore's track. So the first thing you might think to yourself is, well, first up, Levi, I don't need to see both of them, and we can solve that problem. So again, down here in the bottom, we have a uh, switch single track and multi-track view. Now, when you press that, you are going to be left with the only track that you were looking at. So this is Gary Moore's track, and then if I click on BB King's track, we can switch over to BB King's track. You have the option to look at whichever um, you find most useful. Now, of course, for Zoom, you can come up to the Zoom section and zoom in as much as you like, or you could use the traditional control and roller wheel on your mouse. I'm just going to get rid of that side panel because I don't need it. We can also use this button up here to select the grid view, if you like. So I currently have it set up as a multi-page view. So if I scroll out, I can see a lot of stuff. Obviously, when I'm making the transcriptions for scrolling video on YouTube, I put it into horizontal mode and I zoom in like this. And this way, when you're playing along, the track will just scroll from side to side and you'll see everything without page turns, which is a nice little feature. So those are just some quality of life functionalities to help you find what it is that you want to see. Um, there are a couple of other things that I want to point out to you. So as it stands, it's worth getting used to how this mixer panel in the bottom works. Currently, all of the tracks are playing. So when I press play on this, you'll hear BB uh, King's track, Gary Moore's track and the imported audio. So that would sound like this. Boom. 
but we could change that to be whatever you want. So you could come down here and select these headphone icons for the audio track. And then what that's gonna do is solo just that track. Now, when we press play, we won't have the MIDI playback of the guitars. We're just going to have the um, the audio from the recorded track. Uh, I do have that track visible here, but again, you can get rid of that by pressing this audio track here. It's going to give you more options um, to look at your track functionality. So I would imagine for most people, you're going to want to be using this button engage. So we're only hearing the track because I do have the track embedded in the Guitar Pro file. Okay, now the real practice tool. What I wanna start looking at is um, is looping and functionality around the looping speed trainers and things like that. So if we go to uh, maybe a, a part in here that's a little bit more involved where he's playing a few more notes. Um, yeah, we could do that. Let's let, yeah, this is a nice little phrase. So this, um, this phrase that Gary Moore plays, right? If we highlight this section and come up to this kind of uh, loop feature, a <laughs> loop icon, it's a little arrow going around, and we engage that. When I press play on this now, this section will loop. Which you could think of as being a, a practice tool. Now to make it a little um, easier, I'm gonna, just highlight two bars of that. And we could use that as a way of practicing. Now, a few ways around this to make this a little bit more engaging. This can be a little bit confusing because we do have BB King's part there. So maybe what I'm going to do is come down and just select Gary Moore's track. Uh, and then up here, I'm going to engage a metronome click, both uh, a metronome and a counting click. So we'll have a bar of counting now. That's a really wonderful practice tool, but it actually does go a little bit further than that. So up here next to that loop function, you will see a crotchet sign with 100%. Now, if we click this drop down, we can select any speed you want. If you found this was a little bit fast, you could engage 70% of the normal speed. And now when I press play, it's slower. And the great thing about that is that's going to work with audio as well. So now when I press play on that. That's a wonderful little practice tool. There are more features that you can do with this. For example, you can come down here into custom values and you could create uh, progressive speed trainers. So the tempo increases as the repeats go by to help you increase your speed over time. But I feel that that's perfectly good um, and gonna be more than enough for your practice needs at this stage. So hopefully you found that useful. And as you can see, you can get yourself a nice little discount on Guitar Pro for World Music Day. So check out the link in the description and go and get the best piece of software out there for learning transcriptions of course you know i've done a lot of transcriptions hundreds of transcriptions i have hundreds on my patreon but you can get lots of official published transcriptions on my songbook which is a guitar pro product or an aerobus music product so um, thanks very much to those guys for reaching out and asking if i wanted to promote the software that i use every single day i hope you've enjoyed it uh, get learning and i will see you for another video soon goodbye